Hey, what's up, Culture Drop? This video is about an analogy that I think is important, drawing a line between workplaces and romantic relationships and how they're similar. Here's what I wanna say. I think that employees working for a company is very similar to like the dynamics that exist inside any romantic relationship if you want it to be healthy and good. And that is this. If I'm an employee and I'm showing up well and contributing and like earnestly working hard for the company, but I'm not being treated well and in the form of like workplaces, that means I'm not paid well, I'm not empowered, like my leaders aren't kind, like the company is just not great, they're not contributing back to me, then it's like, I should leave this relationship. And likewise, the other side of that is also for companies. If I pay employees well, I'm intentional, I've got great leaders, I ask for feedback, but I have employees who are showing up with a poor attitude or they're not performing well, it's like, we should break up. When it comes to workplaces and also in romantic relationships, it's like, it's symbiotic. Both people have to contribute if you want it to be a healthy environment. It can't be one person gives to the other person while the other person is like kind of a slug. And that applies in all situations. I also recognize there's dynamics. Companies can't just fire people on the whim and people can't just quit their jobs on a whim. I understand that there's dynamics, there's like a process here. But overall, the idea is that if it's not great, then like you should get out. And like that's for companies because sometimes I'm out here always with companies being like, hey companies, pay people well, treat them well, support them, be flexible, give them time off, like give your employees the world. And sometimes companies come back to me and they're like, yeah, but what about employees who feel entitled and they take advantage of time off and they don't like perform well? And I'm like, well, get rid of them. Like if you're a company that actually treats people well and you pay people really well, somebody wants to work for you. So like get rid of those employees that aren't contributing to you and replace them with somebody who wants to be there, which is just like romantic relationships. If you're in a relationship with someone who is no effort, they don't try, they don't care, be with someone that wants to be with you. And I think that's true on both levels. If I'm an employee and I work for a company and I know that I'm an intentional worker, I don't gossip and badmouth, I don't create toxic drama, I try hard, I actually care about customers and the work that we do and making the company successful, but my company doesn't care. They've got crappy leaders. I'm surrounded by coworkers who are toxic and there's no accountability and the company doesn't really care. Get out of that relationship. And I think that works for both people. It just becomes kind of a matter of boundaries and what you'll allow for yourself. If I know I'm a great intentional employee, I'm not gonna allow myself to be treated and, poor, tr and paid poorly by a company. If I'm a company who I know that I contribute, and I'm serving this relationship and I'm here showing up, I'm not gonna allow myself to have employees that are like, ah, yeah, whatever. If you want an exceptional climate and exceptional culture and you want to be successful as a company, as an employee, both of you have to care and want to try. There's plenty of mediocre employees, there's plenty of mediocre companies who don't care. You're perfect for each other. Go find each other, be with each other, but it's like if you want to be exceptional, you want this to work, this is a place where both of us try, both of us contribute. That is how you create exceptional culture. It's not one person gives everything to the other. It has to be a balance. Pew! Zing! Zoo, zoo. Don't add any of that, I hated it. Thanks for watching, subscribe to our channel, or you can sign up for the Culture Drop mailing list and get these emails and videos right into your inbox.